All right, I've returned from my travels in the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. I was there to plan coming releases for Legio Gloria and of course to praise the lovely ladies, the seamstresses and everyone involved in the production process. Super happy as you all know with all of the Legio Gloria garments. So uh, yeah, do check it out, legiogloria.com, proudly made in Europe. And we have many, many garments coming in over the next few weeks and then of course next year as well so what I planned now will be out next year anyway do check it out it's uh, the best stuff indeed so anyway I have a message to the people of Poland because Poland has a special place in my heart not only on a strictly personal level but also on a historical level as a Swede so you have the the region for those of you who don't know we have the great Baltic Sea you've had an intense history there so you have the historical nations Sweden Denmark Prussia later Germany Poland Lithuania you have Russia and Poland has sort of always been with in the Swedish story as well so if you read Swedish history Poland is always there sometimes as a rival enemy trading partner partner in marriage you know royal marriages stuff like that so They've been with us for a long time and uh, you know going to Poland now it's quite like traveling in time it feels like what I imagine Sweden was like during the 50s or something now when I grew up in Sweden it was still better than it is now but going to a to a city in Poland it's a completely different thing so the the vibe on the street is something completely different in you know a Polish city than it is in a Swedish city because in a Swedish city you're out at night you you sort of have your guard up you you don't really know what will happen but in Poland you can relax it's a completely different calm of completely different harmony same comparison can be made in Germany or in any other Western European country that you sort of you're a bit on edge the entire time when you're out but in Poland you can relax you can see at nine in the evening um, you know family taking a stroll through the city center it's a completely different thing completely different thing and uh, I like the Polish people warm friendly super nice in every way and and I just wish Poland will not go the same way as Sweden or Germany or Holland. I don't have super many Polish subscribers so if you are from Poland please watch this video and uh, you know in every conversation you have if you talk Polish politics if you talk politics with a fellow Pole just let them know what I think and uh, yeah we can hopefully make sure that Poland does not go along the same path so essentially you might ask why did Germany, why did Sweden, why did we go along this path of madness? Why did we decide to invite all of the third world into our countries? Yes, it's quite simply that, well it's not simple, it's a lot of different mechanisms, but the, the main mechanism that enabled this was the moral framework. So starting after the second world war, intensifying during the 60s, what it meant to be a good person it shifted in the following direction so being a good person it had to do with wanting to help as many poor people from the third world as possible that is the that was the pinnacle of being a good person so so in previous eras a good person could be a good family father who's loyal to his wife who takes care of his children who works hard who is honest you know good decent values which I'm trying to promote now but this was the standard before and then it sort of shifted into becoming what is a good person what is the best and most moral person you can be yes it's to take care of all of this poor people from the third world so that is the main mechanism behind mass immigration into Germany and Sweden so you might have heard different other arguments saying we need to accept these migrants so they can work and because we have an aging population this is these are only excuses the main issue is that they want to feel good with themselves they want to feel like they are good persons and the only way to do that is for them to then you know bring in as many um, non-whites as possible and give them stuff basically so this is the main mechanism and i want to say to everyone to all Poles and to all, all Europeans worldwide that it doesn't make you a good person by giving away wealth to others. What makes you a good person is to look out for your family and for your people because your people that is the um, your extended family so that makes you a good person. A good person is not someone who wants to invite all of the third world into Europe so they can live on welfare because you can see the the results of it you have the multicultural health project so you can see now in Sweden in Germany in Holland England 
young girls, they cannot go out at night because they will be harassed. Or even worse, I don't want to talk about it now, but you all know what's going on in uh, Western Europe. So do avoid it and do whenever you talk politics. And I'm speaking to all of Eastern Europe now, by the way. Whenever you talk politics, if someone says, I want to be a good person, we should accept all of these migrants so they can have a better life. Then you say, no, absolutely not. The best thing we can do is to look out for our own people. That is the main priority. That makes you a good person. So if you want to be a good person as a Polish man, then it's about looking out for the Polish people first and foremost. And then, of course, we can look at the big family, which is all of Europe. And then we can look at history as well. When Poland saved Europe in 1683, the biggest cavalry charge in history. So when they liberated Vienna from the Ottomans. And now I ask you to do the same. I ask the young men of Poland to do the same. Now we don't use any cavalry charges with hussars, but we take the fight in the EU parliament. The fight for Europe takes place in the EU parliament. So now, of course, you have pressure from the EU, from Brussels, from Strasbourg. You have pressure. They're pressuring Poland. They're pressuring Hungary to accept migrants. I will make a video about the European Union later on. But what I can say for now is that my hope is at least that we can get as many good, loyal, loyal to European civilization individuals as possible into the EU Parliament. And then we can actually, you know, look out for the peoples of Europe. We can create good things instead of giving away our wealth to people who have nothing to do with our civilization. So my wish for all young Polish men is to go into politics also. If you don't know what you want to do with your life, go into politics, fight for the Polish people in the Polish parliament. Say, you know what, we need to have closed borders. We don't want to see the same horrific crimes in Poland as we've seen in Sweden and Germany. Now, I do believe that Sweden can be saved but still, we have been through a lot of horrific crimes that, you know, it will be a trauma in the, in the memory of the history, of the story of the Swedish people and the German people and the Dutch and English and all of the Western European countries that have been subject to, to this nightmare. It will be a trauma that we will carry with us and I don't want the Polish people to be subject to, to this nightmare. So I'm saying now to keep your guard up so don't open the borders because then bad things will happen. And then also, of course, for any, any Polish citizen that might be watching this, to in every, every time, in every discussion you have when you're talking politics, then just point to Sweden, point to Germany. This is the result if you bring in different people en masse, mass immigration of very different people, then you will have catastrophic results. This is the harsh reality. Now you can at least look at us and say, yeah, this is a bad example. This is not what we want to have. So yeah, that's essentially what I want to say. Salutes to the Polish people. Do stay strong. I'm with you in spirit. And, uh, and yeah, I hope with all of my heart that Poland will stay strong and will not follow the path of destruction as um, Sweden has done. So anyway, thank you for watching and thank you for your support. XXO, boom.